Hey, so good evening. Hey, um, Citrix Synergy 2019 is coming to a close and I thought I'd take a moment to share a, a little bit more about a session that we had earlier today. I, I posted something earlier, but I wanted to expand a little bit on that. Um, we had the privilege to have Eric Wehmeyer, um speak to us today, and he is the first blind person to reach the summit of Mount Everest back in 2001. Um, I was just blown away by his his talk, the emotion of which he shared it. Um, he was definitely speaking, you know, straight from the heart as he shared. I, I just want to talk to you a couple minutes about the things that he went over. So he said people fall into basically three categories, campers, climbers, and quitters. Now, quitters he didn't cover. He said that's pretty much self-explanatory. But when he talked about campers, I felt like he was speaking right to me. It said, start climbing with, they start climbing with hope and then something gets in the way or we get to a spot that's comfortable and we stop climbing, we stop pursuing. And as I reflected, man, I was like, man, you know, I think I am a camper. I don't think that I'm a climber at this point. But then he went on and he said, you know, they stop climbing because it's just too hard or they've been through too much or they... They just become comfortable, like I said earlier. He said all their life force is lost and they're shoved to the sidelines. And I don't know how many of you guys out there feel like you're shoved to the sidelines, but then he went on to talk about climbers. And he said, climbers continue to figure a way to keep climbing. They keep challenging until death. They choose to attack instead of allowing challenges to crush. And he went on to, to say, um, he said, commit to no barriers, commit to attacking it. Relentless pushing against ad adversities. Don't bury your head in the sand, but instead square off against adversity. Walk into the storm, harness the challenges. And then he, he asked a question, he said, what if the adversity is the pathway to greatness? What if what we think will crush us is the very thing that propels us? And then he talked a little bit about alchemists and, you know, changing lead into gold. And, and then he said, you know, but don't do it alone. You have to trust the team that's around you. And then he talked about thinking of it like um, the rope team that is part of climbing. And then he said, you know, when you climb to the very top, it's great to be at the top. But, you know, when you come down, you know, you're supposed to share with the others um, that are at the bottom or that are climbing up the hill. So don't keep it to yourself. And then he finished up with just no barriers, commit to it. And, you know, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, man, how it's impacted me. Uh, I've thought about pretty much nothing else all day, uh, just reflecting back on that speech. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend, a safe and uh, restful holiday weekend as well. Till next time, talk to you later. Bye.